Hello everyone, my name is Jojo. Welcome to my channel Joy Root Jojo. This is the 11th video on my tutorial series on Intune. Kindly check the description or the end screen to watch my previous videos. In today's video, let's learn about Windows updates via Intune. And as usual, if you please do subscribe and like the video if you really like it. And if you have any suggestions or questions, please mark it in the comment section. All right. And one more thing, if you have followed my, this tutorial series in a consecutive order, you will come to know that uh, normally first I explain the concept uh, and I explain the theoretical area first. Then we normally uh, get into the hands-on or the practical section. So let's follow the same thing here. I want to talk about dealing with updates involving Windows. So if you are going to use a method like Intune for deploying updates, it's important to understand the various options that are going to be available at least in regards to windows now ios uh, android and mac os and all that a different ball game and it is uh, done differently but windows update is probably the most complicated of all of it because just because of its flexibility that microsoft gives us <clears throat> so the first thing to be aware of that when it comes to windows operating system is you are client operating system when we talk about windows update settings here or windows updates it, we talk about the client operating system updates they are referred to the sometimes as windows as a service they also refer to it as the windows servicing model meaning that operating system is released and then microsoft is giving to provide a servicing to it so windows servicing model or windows update we can mainly classify into two models like feature update and quality updates feature updates are released usually a couple of times a year and they are very large update so the thing you want to remember that about the feature update is that they are very large it's essentially like a whole windows operating system that's being deployed out and when you deploy a feature update it's essentially like doing as in place upgrade from older version of operating system to the newer versions of operating system all right, and it's usually uh, given a code that's like a two digit for year and the other two, it will be either H1 or H2. Uh, for example, H1 means uh, first half of the year and H2 shows the second half of the year. So generally uh, two updates a year. So if you check it in my PC, you go and just type Winver and check the Windows up, sorry. Winver and check the Windows update in my uh, operating system in my laptop. If you check it in my laptop, you could see here 23 H2. Here 23 stands for the year, which means this operating system version has released in the year 2023. And H2 shows it is in the second half. If it is H1, that means the first half, first uh, quarter or first half of the year. And H2 shows the second half of the year. So, which means uh, this particular version of Windows has released in 2023, the second half, in the second half of the year. As generally, uh, feature updates are generally feature updates are uh, twice in a year, two updates a year. Okay, that's it. So let's move on. So when you talk about quality updates, quality updates are a monthly update that happen on patch. Normally it is on Tuesday uh, on every month. Normally on second Tuesday on each month. There can be a little hot fixes and patches that, and things like that. So that's about quality update and feature updates. So if you check it in the Microsoft Intune portal. So now let's see how it looks like in the Intune Admin Center. Where we can find these Windows updates in Intune Admin Center. To see that, to go to intune.microsoft.com. Click on Devices. Scroll down. Here you could see Windows 10 and later updates. Click on that. Here you can see the window feature updates and quality updates. Now we have uh, uh, explained the difference between feature updates. Feature updates is nothing but say larger update where it takes some uh, from all. It can be something like older versions of Windows operating system to a newer versions of uh, Windows operating system. And uh, quality updates are something like uh, uh, patches update like uh, hot fixes and patches then and it, it released every uh, Tuesday on each month So and feature updates are uh, um, generally twice a year and quality updates it happens on monthly basis uh, So this is the location where we can find these windows updates 
and in the coming video we will be creating this feature updates and quality updates and we'll be updating our machines so that we will check it in the next video so let's go on in our theoretical area so let's move on uh, now we have update channels mainly there are three types of uh, update channels like windows insider general availability and long term servicing channel windows insider is nothing but receive features updates months before they go public so it's uh, essentially for the it people to test it like uh, before it get released to the public uh, it goes to uh, uh, goes to the it people for the testing purpose and it's kind of uh, and turned on has to be turned on windows settings mostly to be used for test or lab and pilot computers and the second channel is called general availability this is mostly used by the majority of your production computers so see features update when they go live and few months or a few months later so these are the general update which we get into our uh, client machines and the third one is nothing but long term servicing channel it's formally known as uh, ltsb long term servicing branch uh, this is normally uh, a crit used for the critical workstations that feature updates could cause problems for for example uh, if some medical equipment or medical device uh, uh, machines uh, there we use this long term servicing channel some critical medical equipment uh, where if uh, where if the latest windows patches may cause some issues to that uh, device so such uh, uh, critical workstations or machines we use this long term servicing channel so what you should have you must install windows ltsc version in order to have this option now on the top of updates channels we also have uh, what are called update ring these are just like time frames you can group your machines together in these rings as time frame so for example i might have a general availability channel and then i might link a group of machines to what's called preview ring which means that preview ring get the updates as soon as it goes live to the public so even then uh, even though it is called the preview ring this would be the group of machines that get the updates immediately so like uh, this would be like our it people so uh, here what happens in you go to the previous slide yeah here it's something like wind what the windows insider does in updates channel uh in the preview ring uh, we it's not a testing area but still whenever uh, up, the latest updates uh, comes in picture and it goes to live to the public uh, in our infrastructure it first get to the preview ring people preview ring machines who are member of this preview ring uh, machines like our it people so they get the updates first to their machines and they just monitor it any any issues to their machines or not if everything is fine they will apply to the uh, broad uh, they will push to the broad machines and second ring is something like limited this will be like a special updates like uh, some like some something like some critical machines or some limited uh, which need some special care for special updates and broad uh, rings is nothing but a lot of uh, it's something like uh, we uh, update after the all these checkings after all this uh, preview we apply to the broad machines a lot of admins will do this where when a future goes live it might be uh, for months or it might be a year broad devices get the updates because they want to make sure everything is stable before they uh, they let them deploy it. so that's what broad rings we, we group our machines according to the time frame when the uh, machines would should get the updates according to the time frame we segregate the machines or we group the machines like preview limited and broad now comes at last we discuss about uh, delivery optimization this is a peer-to-peer -peer option that allow windows computers to download updates and share them with the neighboring computers either on the same network or even on the internet so this is an overall picture about uh, windows update settings through uh, microsoft intune and uh, in the coming video session we will create uh, windows updates and we'll push that from the intune and that's it. We'll meet you in another video. Till then, goodbye.